The severity of the shortage of new vehicles on lots around Youngstown was made clear yesterday when the Greater Cleveland Automobile Dealers Association released its sales figures for October. New auto sales, when compared with last October, were down 43% while sales of used vehicles were down 2.5%. Today, I talked with two dealers to see how their businesses were faring. I mean, there's so few out there that, you know, we'll take whatever we can get. John Kufleitner's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealership in Borman was built to stock 700 to 800 new vehicles. Today, there were 125, which compared to other dealers, isn't bad. I mean, yeah, I mean, you look at some dealers that they have five new cars on the ground. I mean, that's brutal. I mean, that's that's tough, right? In October, Koof Leitner sold 105 new vehicles, more than any other Youngstown area dealership, and just 11 fewer than October of last year. Some new car dealerships, though, were down 130 vehicles. Yeah, it's, it's tough, but at the same time, cars are in and out so fast that we're able to keep our expenses down, which, so we're not, we're not, I mean, we're not really where we want to be, but we're definitely not bleeding to death either. And we get leads from these, uh, from people trying to sell their cars. Four miles away, Chris Haas sells used cars at the Haas Auto Group. His lot was full. We have no issues with getting inventory just because there is, you know, we, we're not relying on a manufacturer to give us cars. Haas says he gets most of his inventory from people who drive in looking to sell. We buy you know, most of our vehicles, about 80% of them, off to the general public, uh, personal vehicles, and, and we haven't even had to go to auction much because uh, a lot of people are selling their vehicles now, too, because they're worth a little bit more than they were before. I asked Haas if the lack of inventory at new car dealerships was helping him. I don't know. Like I said, our sales, our sales year to date are, are pretty on par to what they were from 19. And when asked why new car dealers can't get vehicles, John Kufleitner said it was because of a chip shortage along with problems with shipping and logistics. And another reason there are so few vehicles in the lots is that more people than ever are buying them sight unseen as they're being shipped so they never actually make it onto a lot.